explorers. explorers. Welcome back to our channel. We're the Choose here from Choose to Explore, where we teach you guys how to see the world. And save a dollar. So we are here at the beautiful Viva V Samana by Wyndham Hotels in Samana, Dominican Republic. So we're here spending four nights at the beautiful, all-inclusive in Samana, Las Arenas region of Dominican Republic. And we'll show you guys everything you need to know about this resort before you go and why you should visit as well. Yes. I'm gonna give you guys a room tour. So here we are at Viva V Samana. Come this way as soon as you walk in. Bathroom, nice big shower. What's up, y'all? Big sink. You got two double closets right here. This one for me. This one for her. Up here, all inclusive, you get the liquor, the drinks, the snacks. Um, also fridge, you got the champagne in here as well. Come this way, look at this beautiful bed. Nice and comfortable, we slept here last night. TV, got my lovely wife, we got the orchid plant. More storage. Come back this way, and this is the star. We're on the first floor. Got our own patio. Look right here, nice plunge pool. And you look out, look at that beautiful beach. Looking out to everything else. This is paradise. Happy anniversary, my love. So breakfast every day is served at La Marche. It's buffet style and it opens at six, it closes at 11. It's all you can eat. And what I love is that it's like real authentic Dominican food. So you have the chachichas, you have the mangu, you have the queso frito, you got the fresh fruit juices, you got donuts, you got churros. They got so many different flavors of good food here. So I highly recommend it guys. I haven't had a bad meal since I've been here so far. Just stepped outside of our room and went straight to the beach and let me tell you it is gorgeous the sand is extremely soft the sand is not too hot that's a plus also the waves are really calm and cool and it's such a nice beautiful beach with all the palm trees absolutely love the palm trees it's such a nice serene setting so right on the beach you can actually get massages as well and you can walk up and down it looks like it's miles of coastline right here and you can really get like a secluded beach even if you are on the resort. So that's what we did and we got this beautiful view over here. So one thing that I really love about the beach here is that there are so many different places to sit and relax. Like right now we're in this like, I don't know, it's a shaded chair kind of lounge area and it's so comfortable and it's so peaceful in here and I love it. So what do you guys think is better, beach or the pool? So while we showed you, we're literally footsteps away from the white sand beach. We also are literally right here with a beautiful pool as well, with these beautiful cabanas. They have these lounges that we're sitting on right now with these umbrellas. So you can literally sit and sunbathe or just chill and relax like we are right here as well. Yeah, and a really cool thing is that there's a daily schedule, so there's always something going on. We walked over to the pool and they were actually doing water aerobics and everyone was having the time of their life. Yeah, also they have archery, they have dance classes where you can learn salsa, merengue, bachata. You also have beach volleyball, which I'm going to play later. Um, and at night, they also have the discotheca, which if Liv doesn't be a grandma and stays awake, we're going to go. We're going to go. So stay tuned, guys. We'll get into some of these activities soon. All right, so next up, we are going to do some dance classes. I think I told them that my hips are broken. So I don't know how this is going to go, but are you ready? I will see. We have chocolate. Yes. We have Yanko. And what's your name? Maria. Maria. Let's go. <laughs> One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Uno, dos, tres. Dos, tres. Dos, tres. Cinco, seis, siete. Uno, dos, tres. So normally when I'm on vacation, I usually prioritize other activities over food. And I usually sometimes forget that I'm even hungry. But now that we're at All Inclusives, you cannot forget, you cannot miss any meals here. And we're about to go to lunch to go get some food. So come with us, guys. So we just pulled up to La Marche for lunch. 
And once again, I'm amazed at the wide assortment and variety of food items they have. We have fish items, they have vegetarian items, they have healthy items, um, fresh juices, they have pizzas. So, you know, I got them all on my plate. Once again, amazing food that I highly recommend to you. So we just got done getting massages and they were phenomenal. We literally walked all the way down to the end of the beach. You walk out, you're literally on the sand and you're getting a massage and it feels phenomenal. Right, Liv? It was incredible. I'm not going to lie to you. It was the best massage of my life. I'm not even joking. <laughs> um, it's literally in paradise. You hear the sound of the ocean right behind you and I highly recommend getting a massage here. It's a must. Also included are boogie boards, you have kayaks, you have stand-up paddle boards. I've never done it before, but why not? It's free. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm out here with my wife. Let's get away. Woo! There comes another one. <laughs> Go, get it, get it. <laughs> so that was my first time boogie boarding and it was so much fun. Liv said she actually used to do that all the time, right? I did when I was a kid, so I mean, I don't know how well he did, but... <laughs> the guys had to show me how to do it, but I had a lot of fun, you know? I washed up in the shore, but only thing is I have a lot of sand in my hair now. So also here on resorts on the schedule says showtime, and initially we didn't really know what the showtime meant, but we found out last night and also on the first night because we actually stayed up to around 9 or 10 o'clock for the showtime. So the first day it was live singers and dancers, and it was super fun night. A lot of people were up and dancing. Totally great experience. But last night we went and we thought that everybody was saying circa, which means close in Spanish, but they actually meant a circus. So it was a full on circus. There were gymnasts, there were flips, they were juggling with knives. A totally cool experience. The whole time I was thinking in my head, how does this person even have bones in his body the way he was contorting himself? But definitely recommend to do the shows are lots of fun. Being that this is all inclusive, you cannot forget to eat. Right, and the food here is so, so good. And I'm a picky eater, so for me to say it's good really does mean a lot. And also, there's food available 24 7 through room service. And there's a wide selection of food that comes through room service. And I was surprised at how hot the food was to have it delivered right to your door. But also on the property, they have three separate restaurants that you could eat. We actually had them for dinner and we'll tell you guys about them here. Actually, the first one is Mar y Fuego, which unfortunately right now is under construction. So we did not eat there. But the other two we did and we also had a romantic dinner. So our second night, we had the romantic dinner, and it's beautiful. We had it during sunset, which was like 6 o'clock p.m. We walked out, and it had rose petals on the floor. It had glowing orbs. It had lights around. They also came through. They gave us a champagne toast, and it was spectacular. Yeah, so it was absolutely incredible. Great views. You felt the calmness of the beach around you and I just had the best night ever. So the food was great as well. It was a four course dining. I got the shrimp to start. Liv got a salad. Then we got a asparagus soup which was great. It was a creamy soup with lots of flavor and dinner for me was the star of the show. It was a lobster steak surf and turf dinner. Great flavor on this guys. <laughs> yeah so this is the perfect way to celebrate our 10 year anniversary. So on our third night we ate a fusion. So while the romantic dinner was my favorite experience, fusion was definitely my favorite food that I've had when I was here. So this was also four course dining. They started out with either white wine or red wine, and then we went through the courses. So at first I had the fried tempura vegetables. I had the chow mein after, and our server actually recommended I get the salmon. And I'm gonna be honest with you, this was my favorite 
dish that I've had here. It may be my favorite salmon that I've ever had. A lot of flavor in this, and I wish that I didn't eat so much before because I wanted to finish this whole thing, but I actually couldn't. And also for dessert, I got a mango custard as well. And for me, I started with the spring rolls, which were really good vegetable spring rolls. And for my second course, I had this sort of a vegetable pasta, but it was more so like a tortilla. I don't know, but it was probably my favorite thing that I had here this whole time. And then my third course, I actually got the chicken breasts. And for dessert, I had a delicious vanilla ice cream with strawberry or raspberry sauce in it. So really delicious. And on our fourth night, we ate at Mediterranean's, which is a really cool beachfront restaurant. And we walked in and it was just a great ambiance as well. This was also four course dining that started with wine. I started with the octopus. Then I had the seafood risotto, followed by the mahi mahi. I love this mahi mahi. And for dessert, I had a coffee infused panna cotta. Yeah, so for me, I started with a delicious minestrone soup. Then I went on to have the pasta with shrimp in it, and it was so good. And then after that, I had the breaded zucchini, and it was so delicious. And to end it, I had the tiramisu, which was so good too. So overall, you cannot miss at any one of these restaurants, so give them all a try and eat, eat, eat at the all-inclusive. So unfortunately, all good things have to come to an end. This is it for us at Viva V Samana, and there were so many things we want to highlight that was amazing here, from the friendly staff, the amazing food, the attractions that we booked with Viva Excursions through the hotels. This is definitely a place that we could see ourselves coming to every single year. So thank you guys so much for checking out our channel. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next one.